What's going on everybody? Tonight's bonus episode is brought to you by Uber Eats and Wingstop. No, not really, but that's what I ordered and that's how I got it. So hey, I'm gonna go on and shout them out. I could always use some sponsorships. So hey, holler at your boy. It's always worth a shot, right? So today, I come up here to Clearfield, Utah. Had a little issue with the truck. Damn airbags overinflated, and the bottom of it blew off of the damn mount. I've never seen nothing like this in 13 years of trucking. I'm gonna take a quick break, pop a couple pictures up there for y'all to look at. Tell me, have you ever seen anything like this before? Like I said, I've never seen anything like that happen before. I'm guessing it's got something to do with my leveling valve. Probably is the issue. Um, as you can tell right now, I got the APU running, but when the truck was idling, I tried deflating the bags and all the rest of the bags were deflated except for that one. Also too, um, the back of my cab was raising and lowering. The truck's a 2021 Peterbilt 579. Um, I've had this truck a year, no issues out of it at all. And as of right now, I'm not even really willing to say this is the issue. We'll have to wait and see. You know what I mean? It could just be a minor wear and tear type of thing of the leveling valve is what I'm guessing. But anyway, I'll keep y'all up to date on that. Also, I said something earlier in a little short clip about the GI Bill and how I use that to get into trucking. Um, now, the best thing you could probably do for this is contact the benefits office or, you know, whoever at the local VA, like I go to the one in Memphis, and get a hold of the people at the education center, they're gonna give you the best um, advice. But there is a way you use your GI Bill and it'll pay for you to go to truck driving school. I know that for a fact. I didn't go to truck driving school like that. I had some experience from uh, driving on the farm. So I was kind of able to bypass that and I went straight on with the trainer. But, you know, it's like anything else with the VA, you gotta do paperwork and add and get set up, get in the program. I did this 13 years ago. So my information is a little dated, but it's a damn good program and the way it works, basically they pay for your school. If you, you know, gotta do the truck driving school, and then you hire on with the company like I hired on with Warner Enterprises. And, uh, you know, I don't even know if they're still in the program or not. To be honest with you, like I said, my information's kind of dated. I'm sure, you know, there's other companies also involved in the uh, program. If anybody sees this from any of those companies, please reach out, you know. Uh, I'd like to get some more up-to-date information, but basically the way it works, they pay for your truck driving school, and then the first year that you're employed with that company, they pay you like a stipend or whatever you want to call it every month, and uh, you got like a toll-free number you call and verify that you're still, you know, involved in the apprenticeship program. You do that for, you know, a year. And uh, like I said, it's through the GI Bill, so it's a program you paid into, you might as well, you know, get some benefit out of it. So I really been trying to encourage people on that. So if you got any questions about it, I am gonna try to look into it more and see if I can find some more up-to-date information. Like I said, I went through it 13 years ago when the company put put me into it. So I kind of looked into the program. But anyway, 
I'll keep y'all up to date with some more information on that. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay productive. If y'all got some questions, shoot them my way. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Y'all have a good one.